Today we're going to talk about flicking hard body lures for barramundi and if you haven't done it before I'm going to show you everything you need to know about it. But even if you're an expert, I'm going to show you a trick that's going to guarantee to get you more barra but heats more other bycatch as well. So just check this out and hang around to the end and I'll show you all the tackle I used to get them. So what we're doing today is we're chasing barramundi just old fashioned style with barramundi lures. I do have a Zurich prawn here just in a small size because sometimes the barra will come out and they'll roll on the on the barrel lures on the big barrel lures and I can just grab this and quickly flick that out and sometimes they'll suck that down they won't take a barrel lure. What I'm talking about when I say barrel lures is your old traditional you know your gold bombers this is a halco this is a shallow running lure because we're fishing really shallow today up in the snags so I picked a really good creek the tide's falling and it's falling quite quickly so the barra should be coming out and we should get a few so let's give it a crack. Now if I throw the lure deep into a snag I'll get it underneath the water then I'll do little tiny twitches and work it really slow because I don't want to pull it out of that snag too quick because that's where all the barra are but just here now at this little tiny spot here it's a draining creek so any barra that is sitting out just from this draining creek might be attracted to a lure that's working a little bit quicker so I'll dance it out quite quick with lots of little twitches and dances still but if I have a look at these snags just over here, I'll drop it into that snag and the retrieve is quite different. It's a real pause, even let it float up to the surface and then give it a little splash as you pull it back down again. I think I love to catch is mangrove jack. And yeah, that one. Oh. Oh. Are you me? Just came through this little bank here with a hard body. It's a really likely looking spot. I had a couple of barra tap the hard body, roll on it. So I'm coming back over it again and I've switch baited off got my little prawn out and I'll see if they can suck this down rather than have a little half assed attempts at the, uh, the hard body. Yeah, there he is. Oh, he's a good fish too. Oh, yeah. So there you go. Just, it's probably a bit smaller than average in Weeper, but uh, a lot of people think they come to Weeper and chase Barra and yeah, and you do get meteries in Weeper, but um, like I said, he's a bit smaller than average, but you don't get a lot of big Barra, but uh, just the same, they're a heap of fun. They're a great sport fish. Ah, uh, nice little Barra. <laughs> So 
that's a classic example of uh, changing over that little prawn because uh, <laughs> it wouldn't hit that hard body too hard but they'll always go a prawn so I keep a little prawn rigged up when I'm throwing a hard body but that's a nice little barrel that. Great fish, the grunter. <laughs> Beautiful. This is probably going to be the last couple of casts of the day because uh, I worked through this area with the hard body, so I've switched over to the prawn again. Well, I'm actually out of prawns. I've, I've had so many fish on this soft plastic. And here's another one. And this is a, a nice, uh, nice semi, this little thread fin salmon, which is uh, beautiful. It's probably a little bit undersized, so we let him go. But what I've been doing is throwing the hard body in there, getting flashes on the hard body, and whether they're salmon or whether they're barra, I then switch bait them out. I drop the hard body lure, and I pick up that little soft plastic and throw that in, and they don't resist it. They just suck them down. Switch bait for barra money. That's heaps of fun. Look, as promised, the gear I use, standard bait casting gear. This is the Alvi Orbiter, the bait casting rod and reel. That's a great little outfit for, for the money. I don't think you can beat it. Now, my spin gear is also Alvi, so use Alvi or use something similar, but it's eight to 10 kilo rod. I've got 10 kilo line on it or 20 pound line on it. I use a 30 pound leader. And what I ended up using in the end was just a one eighth ounce jig head with a curly tail because I ran out of soft plastic prawns and I ran out of Zurich prawns because I got so many bites, I was getting so many different fish. I got a couple of barra, but I was getting grunter, queenfish, barracuda, catfish, I was getting all sorts of stuff on it. So just to recap, if you see anything, roll on the back of the lure, tap the lure, even if you get a swirl on the surface of the water behind your lure, drop that bait caster, pick up your little spin rod and throw that little prawn in there because it's probably going to suck it down. Even if I work a whole bank and I'll get three or four little swells from fish on the bank that don't actually hit the lure, I'll go back around and I'll work that whole bank with the prawn again. And as you can see, I'll get a heap of fish doing it.